Good day everyone and welcome to another episode. This afternoon I've come back to a river slash creek chasing brim on the uh, it's called a uh, city crush city. I'll just get the uh, packet out the bag and show you. First time I've ever used one of these actually. So we've got these crush cities customs uh, it's called the creeper um, it's floating scent infused and whatnot it's got UV in it as well it's a motor oil color so we're going to give them a go this afternoon from Rapala I've also got some hurricane sprats in the bag this last time I come here and used hurricane sprats they were jumping around like salmon the brim so water level is a little bit about the same I think it's hard to tell this early in the, in the warmer months but I said I'd come back here in the warmer months so here we are just trying this little part here I don't know how much tidal movement it gets not much by the look of it I haven't put scent on it. I forgot to put scent on there and then I realised when it says scent infused I probably don't need to put any on. Got my water shoes on today. Last time I was here someone pointed out I, they didn't really think I should be wading in the water but <laughs> I didn't have waders, I was wet wading. But, uh, still alive so nothing come out of it. I've heard these lures are quite, or these soft plastics are quite good. Um, if you get pants there, I think. Yeah, they're not a bad looking lure. They're a cross between, I don't know, a grub, uh, like centipede like crawlers on the bottom there. You've got the. Uh, the curl tail, and I just realised the curl tail is damaged, so I might just pull a, pop a new one on. Something must have bit it off. I thought I felt something. So there's one with the actual tail, I didn't realise, but yeah, that's what they really look like. Can't remember if I had the tail on now if it fell off. You can get dodgy bags of plastics where things break off. I'm liking the look up here a bit further. There's a lot of um, grass growing up through the water. So on the edge there, there should be a few brim holding. Got him. It's a salmon, I think. I must have foul hooked it somehow because it's fighting weird. First one on the board, and it's a decent sized salmon trout for an, for a closed off river. How fun! Hold him, that is. Okay, have a look. There we have it. A sandy. That's not bad though. There's no water coming in, so they go a bit spastic in here. When you get these closed off uh, creeks or rivers and you get Australian salmon, this is a trout, swimming into them, they, they go a little bit more spastic. I don't know what it is. Fresh water does something. Anyway, first fish on the board, see you later. Well that's a start, I mean it's not the species I'm after but better than nothing. It's been a while since I've caught some fish so it's good to just feel something.
Oh, that's not very nice. There's a dead bird just here. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Poor thing. Pretty fresh too. It's not good to see. Being mating season, they probably, you never know, they might have had a fight or something. I reckon that's another salmon trout, I reckon. Or a small brim and it's a small brim. Wow. We're having a mixed bag so far. How cool is this? We've only been here in five minutes. Had a salmon trout, half decent one before, and now we've got a brimbo on the board. There we have it, only a small fella, but it's still a start two fish on the board already only small but see you later still pending nothing it's always great when you've had a massive break from fishing due to several reasons and um, then you, you go fishing for the first time in a while and you pick up a brim straight away and a, a salmon trout and a brim I'm happy with that and I haven't even got wet yet that's the beauty. I don't want to walk in the water. It's still a little bit cold. In the middle of February, it's all right. <laughs> it's not summertime yet. It's only late spring. Just thought I had another latch on me. Yeah, in front of me here motor oil in there. Cross City's doing the trick. Oh, just had a hit. I thought there was something happening in the water. A bird went over and then there was a disturbance at the same time. I reckon he's pants me. Feels like it. Yep. I haven't got the ones that don't pants. These pants easy. Got a feel of it. They uh, get a slight touch in there off the jig head. Buy some more. I've got some in the bag, I think. The, uh, the boat junkie jig head's might be the way to go. Oh, well, this is a little bit better because I've got the wind behind my back. Now, I can actually cast directly up the guts. I'm on the sand flat here, but it drops off in front of me. This might be alright, I might pull a fish or two out of here. So I'd... That's a good hit. He pants me too. Yeah, that wasn't a bad hit actually. I wonder if I'll get him again. So I'm working with my, the wind behind my back now, so I'm actually getting good tension on my line. Popping it. Oh, I grabbed it again. I reckon he passed me again. Yes. Let's see if it's third time lucky. These are good in here. They come back once, twice, and three times, pretty much. Unless it's just a pesky salmon trout, but they're pretty fun in here.
next meal was a decent hit. Bugger. When get I don't think I'll get that back. That was a decent fish, I think. In the depths. So the one that worked today was this. I'm gonna call it a day. So that will do. I don't think I'll be able to get that fish back. It had a few too many goes at it, so. Have one last cast, but that will be about it. <laughs>